Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast at Preeminence.tv. I'm your host, Matthew J. Peters, founder of Ascend. Today, we're talking about preeminence and what it means for your business. This is part two. So tune in, listen up, and get ready to take focused action on your mission, message, and your presence and create accelerated results right now. Today, we're going to be talking about preeminence again. This is part two. If you haven't listened to part one, go ahead and go back to yesterday and listen to part one. Now, the thing we need to think about preeminence and creating a preeminent brand or being preeminent in your marketplace is it's a place of ownership. It's a place of responsibility. It's a place of being a servant. If you're going to be a leader, you're there to serve other people. Now, Preeminence, especially when you're starting out, it is a personal brand. You know, you have yourself. You can have a microphone, you can have a web camera, and you have content and desire and a vision, and you move forward on that. You don't have to have tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars to do this. Now, when you have that type of money, You need to be very responsible of how you use it and when you hire people to speak on your behalf, to post on your behalf, to create videos for you. You need to make sure that they have your best interest in mind and when you create those, you're creating something that is a product or service that is going to best serve your end client. You do not take advantage of people. You do not use NLP to try to trick people into anything, all right? Because you are preeminent, you're going to have more power in your marketplace and you need to be extremely responsible for that. So let's talk about preeminence. We're going to keep going on down the list here. I've got four more here. Preeminence focused people know that what they decide to create and accomplish will come to pass. They have such confidence in themselves that they know what they set out to do will come to pass. You can think of all the people who have changed history. Those people knew that if they kept with perseverance and persistence, they would make those things come to pass. So preeminence-focused people know, they have a deep knowing that what they are setting out to do, they will make happen. Preeminent leaders lead from their charisma and their confidence in what they believe to be right, just, mutually beneficial, and focused on others. It's always a win-win, or as one of my friends says, a win-win-win. You each win and you win together. All right, there's a partnership with any time you are pr- providing a service or a product for somebody, you each win and together you win. That is your brand. Your brand wins when both people are satisfied. You're making a profit and people are profiting in their lives from using your products and services. All right, so win, win, win is definitely someone who is a preeminent minded leader. Now, preeminent leaders know that they are choosing the spotlight and doing so makes them a target. And they're okay with that. They're willing to take the arrows from the front and the back. They know they're leading not out of ambition of being seen as great, yet they know that movements need a face. If you're going to choose preeminence, know that people are going to disagree with you. You have to be polarizing. You need to polarize to magnetize people. Now, if I talk about myself, my history over all 40 years has been a people pleaser. You know, it wasn't until recently that someone said, you need to assert yourself. You need to ruffle people's feathers. You need to say exactly what you want and what you mean. And that's what a leader does. Now, if you're going to lead from a place of pleasing people and making friends out of everybody, every client, every prospect, every competitor is a friend of yours, that is not a place of true leadership. You're not going to change the face of humanity. You're not going to change your environment. You're not going to change your industry or or your space if you're just trying to be friends with everybody. Now, great being friends with everybody and extending yourself and your services out to people, but at some point, you are now becoming a detriment to your brand, to your mission, to the people you think you're serving by trying to be this chameleon. That is not going to serve you. So if you are wanting to be a preeminent leader, your ambition is not to be seen as great. But the movement needs a face. You are the face that of that movement. And if you're not in this to make a movement, you're out of this to move products, then this isn't what you need to do. 
Just focus on sales. Doesn't really matter what you're doing. Doesn't really matter if you're going to build a legacy. You know, if you're just here to move products instead of be a product of a movement and create people who are products of movements to really change things for the better, then this isn't for you. Now, lastly, preeminence is focused on creating brilliant futures. Now, uh, let me share with you the four qualities of futures. Really, there are four qualities. There is dark, dim, bright, and brilliant. And I, this isn't a training on futuring, but I want to help you understand that there are dark, dim, bright, and brilliant futures everywhere you look. For instance, dark futures. If you turn on the news and you see all the terrible things happening and they aggregate all those terrible things happening and they put them into one five-minute to 30-minute program, that's darkness. That's darkness condensed, right? Right? Dimness is, you know what? We just have enough. We'll get by. Uh, it's, it's doing business as usual. Now, bright futures, where if we're going to be a company or a leader to create bright futures, it's, I'm in it for me. I've got the nice car. I've got the great house. My kids are in the best schools. Um, I'm part of the country club, live in the best part of town. That's bright. And that's so much marketing. You think about from Madison Avenue down to your local marketplace. It's how can I make myself more comfortable? How can I look more beautiful? How can I get other people to like me? That's bright. You know, I'm going to buy that car because then people really think I'm successful. That's bright. The brilliant future and the brilliant future leader is outward focus. That's aimed at elevating humanity and the environment for the whole, not for the self. The self does benefit by putting the lofty goals out there and futuring from the from 10, 20, 50, 100 years out and coming back to the, the present and grounding it, making sure that you're based in reality and bootstrapping when you need to, but you need to know where you're going. If you speak from that place saying, I know where we're going, here's where we're taking it, and this is why this is so important for us right now. To me, if you don't choose on creating a preeminent brand, why even bother? I'm the type of person, if it's a small project, if it's a a little thing that we're thinking of doing, if we're just going to tweak something, why even bother? There's a hundred other people that can do that. If you want to make a preeminent brand, you've got to be everywhere. If you're everywhere, you've got to be focused. You have to meet people where they're at, but you need to also meet them where you're at and bridge them to where they need to go because they don't have your perspective. They don't have your professional experience. So from where you are, you have to have the wisdom to know where to meet them and you have to take them step by step where you know they need to go to be a part of this movement. If you're not willing to do that, then go ahead, just grab a marketing book, learn Facebook ads, and you're going to be cool. You're going to make product after product. You just follow the trends and and sell what's hot right now. If you want to be a preeminent brand, you have to lead. You need to know where the market that you're in right now is going, and you can take that into account, but that doesn't dictate who you are. That doesn't dictate what your brand is going to be. You can change the direction of the entire market space by you being preeminent in what you choose to do. You see this all the time. Tech companies that overshadow a company that's been around for 50 or 100 years, they come in and they'll sell their company to Facebook for $19 billion. Where did that come from? They shifted everything by introducing something that no one else was doing. They created value out of thin air. This is what a preeminent brand is. This is what a preeminent leader does is they do things that no one else is doing. They don't care what other people are doing. They don't care how much their their competition is charging. It's irrelevant. They are not competing on price. They're competing on the inner value that people have in their lives. People wanting to be a part of something. People wanting to contribute You know, when you can speak to people and use all of the six human needs in your media, when you know your product is going to serve people on multiple levels, this is where preeminent brands break off from the herd. So if you want to outvalue your competition, you need to transfer your wisdom to the marketplace through your media. You need to share your story. You need to share your why. We're going to get into preeminence and every day from now on, I'm going to share a story with you and how that story is going to reflect in your presentation of yourself. 
of where you're going as a leader, how you're going to lead the marketplace, how are you going to lead your teams? And if you are leading a team of one, how are you going to lead yourself by changing the way you think about what your place is in this world, what you're capable of doing, what you're capable of seeing, and how to structure everything so you know that what you create is going to mean something and it's going to be legacy-based instead of reactionary-based to what everybody is doing and I need to make money for today or I need to make money for this, this quarter. All right, we're going to have a long-term focus. So over the next several days, as you listen to this daily podcast, you're going to hear little bits. And what I want you to do is every day, take one little bit and put that into your thinking and start thinking about how am I going to integrate this into my life? That's all I have for you today. I look forward to tomorrow when we're going to continue the conversation of preeminence and I'm going to take it off into another direction. I'll see you then. This daily podcast is all about becoming the preeminent voice in your marketplace. So take the consistent and necessary actions each and every day and what you've just learned over the last few minutes. When, not if, when you're ready to take your business, your organization, your name, your brand, and your commitment to the next level of global preeminence, head over to preeminence.tv where you can download your own copy of the ultimate guide to preeminence. Enroll in the Elevation program or join us at one of our next live events. If you're not subscribed, simply visit iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play right now and click subscribe. Until tomorrow, make today and each and every day count toward creating preeminence in your space and a legacy that matters.